Hey plant people, this is just an update on everybody going on. So, Fiddly Fig is doing pretty good. As you can see, uh, I got a new leaf there. It is definitely getting taller. Just watered it. Everybody says that... Uh, like I said, I have no problem growing this guy. He is doing well in my other division. He's doing well as well. And it is uh, late November. And um, probably going to get another leaf pretty much soon. She's doing quite well. I think this is the one I was going to make the type of uh, tree look instead of having them all leaves all the way around and have a bush I'm on a tree like form with this one now the leaf is pretty huge you see it's just hard to angle it and I'm trying to rotate it so it's not leaning on one edge I mean leaning to one side but yeah it's not a real finicky plant I spray it I would say spray it every day make sure you I don't keep the soil too wet I just check it do the finger test and uh, I haven't had any problems the leaf falling only the way the leaf falls out if I take it off and she's doing perfect that's my big fiddly pig um, Amelia, I went away to New York that when I did the uh, Green Fingers tour and she didn't do too well, but I did make a division. I've tried to water it and I'm going to cut back on the watering. I've been spraying it, but you can see it's, it's not doing well at all. It's like not what it used to be. I don't do good with mosses, I mean, uh, ferns, for some reason. This was a fail, but I do have another cut that I made a cut with, and it's not doing too well either, as you can see. So, we'll just keep praying and hoping that she makes a comeback. And like I said, I just went away for three days, and I came back, and it looks like this. I don't know if I need to spray it every day, but I did repot it. So maybe me repotting it did a problem. I don't know. I'm not sure. It just didn't like the soil or something happened and uh, I shouldn't have repotted it. So we'll just, like I said, we'll keep an eye on it. I don't know. I'm trying to keep it close to a window, not too close. But since it's fall, early winter. Yeah, maybe we'll play some violin music and get it back up. But we'll keep an eye on it. And this wasn't a discounted plant. This was a full price plant that I bought. And look what I got. But most of these plants are discounted. Well, the fiddle leaf I bought was full price. I don't know, I like it, but full price plant. That's what happens. Maybe I shouldn't have repotted it. I should have kept it as is. But that's the Amelia. I'm not doing well at all. Um, I got these queen palms in the mail um, from a grower in Florida. And we'll see how they do. But uh, I got a couple of sections. This guy, this guy, these two. And over here I got this one, another queen palm. They, I just watered them, keep an eye on them, seeing if they uh, sprout up, seeing what happens. It's my first uh, small queen palms. Hopefully they take off and grow, but uh, I got them in the uh, 
the pro mix soil I didn't fertilize them at all I just uh, put them in pro mix watered them and hopefully them they take off and do well I know they probably want some lighting requirements so I have them up here where you get medium light but like I said it's fall so the, the this window gets like 12 to I would say 6 o'clock sun and it's not that strong because it's the fall my mimosa that I got from <laughs> urban jungle in Philly it is slowly but surely not looking good as you see um, I don't know if I was watering it too much or if I needed to water it but it's still hanging on it's still it's nighttime so the, the, the uh, plants the uh, leaves aren't spreading out but it's, it's still alive it's hanging on but she's slowly but surely deteriorating so I think I'm going to if you guys have any suggestions about the mimosa let me know um, as you can see there's a lot of dead branches I'm not sure what I and it's in a clay pot which is a bummer but that's what happens can't keep everybody alive, but if you guys got any suggestions, like I said, let me know in the comments below about the mosa and the mammalia. Let me give me some tips on some help on that. Um, oh. I got Monstera adonsi. Adonsi. So I got them, and I put him in a nice pro mix soil. I know it holds a little bit more water, so I kept it in that. And I got him from the male, and I think this one came from, I wanna say Massachusetts. I got one from Massachusetts and one from Texas. I actually got two, because I was just looking at this for, I don't know how long, I just kept seeing pictures on Instagram. Oh yeah, check out my page on Instagram. Like, follow me, I'll follow you back. Um, but I've been looking at this and it's been calling my eyes so I just had to get two. I got it for, I think I got it for 12 bucks, including shipping. And the other one I think I got for around the same price. And it's, it survived, it was neatly packed, I had no problems with it. The leaves are pretty, pretty, uh, delicate. Got some burns there, but we'll see if she takes off if she likes what's going on. Hopefully she she takes off pretty well, but this is the one I got that I potted. And I have another one I'll show you in a little bit. But I know this is not for beginners. Um it likes bright and indirect light. Um the soil think you should allow it to dry between waterings this is the first time I ever watered it I'll let it dry out and see where it takes us but yeah that's that's the Monstera at the Yonsai put you right back here my J plant I divided it and she's doing pretty well. I just let the soil dry out. I'll probably give it another couple of days and we'll see if she we water it. But she's pretty hanging on and I divided it from that guy there. And I could probably get a couple more plants out of it. And thinking about selling it. What do you think? You think I should sell it? I think I should. Ugh. That's what Jay plant. I can you can tell if it needs to be watered if your leaves droop or if you touch them and they feel feel pretty 
smushy or mushy, then you need to uh, get the water in it. And I've seen a lot of them. I kind of like this pattern where they're kind of stretching. I've seen a lot um, of jade stretching. And I don't really, I like the bush pattern that I got over here, but I like, I like seeing the stalk. It uh, gives it like that different color, almost looks like a tree. Um, but that's my jade plant. This is a desert rose. And I know I got this discounted. And you can see there's a couple of leaves, so it was pretty dry. And I would think, because it's called a desert rose, it's, I think it's native to the Middle East or somewhere in that area. But, um, you can see there's a little bit of leaf burn. I did repot it, so I don't know if, uh, and it was looking bad. It was looking real bad. This is a rescue plant. And as you see, it's still not where it should be, but we do have some new growth. Um, and you can kind of see the leaves are stretching that way. So I know it's, it's looking for more light. So it's talking to me. So what I'm going to do is uh, give it some more light. Because that's what it's telling me. And hopefully she takes off because it's a beautiful plant. Those desert roses are real nice. But um, if you guys have any, how many times do you water it? Do you water it a lot? What what uh, tips you got for the desert rose addendum? I believe that's the the uh, the name for that. My croton is always doing good. This is another rescue plant. He's doing real well. I just watered him. No, it needs bright light. He's getting taller and taller. Got no problems with this guy at all. He likes being here. No problem at all. Bright light. Water. Let it dry for a little bit and water. That's my tip with that. Oh, yeah, dust the leaves on all of them. Dust all your leaves. What else can I show you? Oh, my Monsteras. So this is my mother plant, Monstera. That's a new leaf that unfurled. And it's still doing beautifully. Likes what's going on. It's still holding strong. I think this is the finger test that I do. So I stick a finger in there. And I still got some, you know, some dirt, so it's still, still a little bit moist, so I'm not going to water it. It's doing well. <sighs> this is uh, the cutting that I have, and I'm going to get, I got a coconut quarter pole on the way. I want to stake it and get this guy up, but this is the cutting from that mother plant. And she's still going good. And you can see there's another leaf about to unfurl from the smaller Monstera. And I was always scared about that. You see there's a little dust on the leaves. Saying that uh, I have no problem with this. I missed it, you know, a couple times a week in the morning. Always in the morning. And I know this is due for some water. This is the finger test. And you can tell, definitely needs some water. So we'll be watering it most likely tomorrow. As you see over there, I got my Begonia Rex. It just perked up because it definitely needed some water. And I got a cactus in my little watering tray right there. Because I know it needed some water. Calthea. You can see there's a lot of new growth going with this guy. I don't think she's stretching, but I got three new leaves. And it's doing nice. I love this pot. I was thinking about dividing it in the future, but 
Everybody says it's a finicky plant or hard to grow plant, but I don't think so. I have no problems with it. Even though I do have problems with plants, I don't have problems with this one. And I dust it, spray it. I don't keep it in direct sun. I keep it in uh, you know, a little bit of shade. And that's how I water my plants right there. I keep them, I just fill up a bucket and sit them in there so the water just rises up. Plant not doing well at all it's it definitely is asking for some water in this new plant <laughs> and Danielle tells if you're listening this is the one uh, that I was I think you have the same pot it's like an octagon shit I think I got it from Ollie's army or whatever Ollie's store whatever you call that store but uh yeah she's he definitely needs some water it's drooping a lot he'll be watering it soon Euphorbia, and it has like a nice pattern on there. I just got that from Green Fingers. I think I bought this for twelve dollars. Um, just water it, but I know I don't need to water it a lot. But I just did just in case. I'm not sure when they watered it. I should have asked when. When did they water this last? And what's their schedule? Does anybody ask the nurseries? What's the schedules for their plants when they water it? Cause I guess you gotta follow suit just to maintain. I guess it's a big rule of thumb to ask. I'll probably ask that next time I get a new plant. Pythia. Um, you see, I me zoom out a little bit. I got some pups from the one I got in the mail. I just watered it. I actually have, well, I got two pups going on. So she is, uh, I got a pup there, a little pup there, I don't know if you see that, and another pup over there. I'm kind of scared to cut them off. I I haven't done it before. Um, I think this one is able to uh, grow on its own if I cut it off, but I just don't want to mess anything up. But I think he'll be the first experiment. Hopefully it'll go well. I'll watch a couple videos. If you guys got any hints for separating pups, let me know. Comments below. I appreciate it. But I think I'll be taking him up soon. And it's looking nice. I'm trying to spin it around even though you can see the leaves going in one shape. So I'll be rotating them. Alright, but that's, that's what I got right now, guys. Dumb Kane's doing beautiful. I, I just watered that. He's getting big. Definitely getting big. He's probably going to need a new pot soon. My cactus. I'm going to have to... Uh, he wants a couple of... Uh, I don't know. I touched it and this fell off. So, I mean... I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna hopefully I can grow a new cactus now. If I see some roots growing. I like that pot. I'm trying not to stab myself, that's why I'm holding it like so. But I'm just looking for roots. And I don't think that's seen any roots yet, so we'll hold, see what how she does. I'm just keeping it on the table. Humidity moisture, humidity meter. That's my humidity, believe it or not. I got a uh, McCoy, my baby's there. So that's giving me humidity all the time. Because um, the tank level kind of drops down and I just fill it up. So that helps with humidity. And pardon the allergy, I gotta clean all that up, but that's I that's my humidifier. I definitely need a humidifier going on. And I got another monstera there. 
and that one was a rescue plant and I'm just so happy to see it getting bigger and bigger can't wait to see it start spreading it's out summertime I know it's going to just take off but that's it for my plant haul today guys thanks for watching please subscribe and keep growing